In this tutorial, we'll take a look at layers in Procreate, how they work, how we can use them, and more. Let's dig right in. To reveal our layers, tap on the Layers icon in the upper right-hand corner of your workspace. I'm in a new document, so I have two layers here by default. The first here is layer 1, and the other is my background color. We can make a new layer by clicking on the plus sign in the Layers menu. Swipe to the left to reveal additional actions we can apply to our layers. Lock will protect your contents, meaning you won't be able to alter the contents of this layer until it's been unlocked. Duplicate makes a copy of this layer. And our last option here will say either Clear or Delete. Delete will delete your selected layer, and Clear will clear the layer when you only have one layer left. We can also rearrange our layers. Simply tap and hold, then drag your layer to its new position. We can also group layers together, similar to putting them into a folder. Swipe right to select multiple layers, and then tap Group. Now we can expand and contract our group to view its contents. Note, I can still tap and drag to move layers within and out of this group too. Swiping left on the group will give me similar options to a standard layer, lock, duplicate, and delete. Layers also have visibility, so let's just do a quick doodle on a layer here, and then hide the contents by toggling visibility off. It's this checkbox on the right-hand side of the layer. Visibility like this also applies to groups. Now let's take a look at some other layer options too. Tap on a layer to reveal these additional options. Let's start with an explanation of some of the more simple ones. Rename allows you to rename the layer. Select will select the contents of the layer. Copy will copy the contents of the layer. You can paste from the Actions panel. Fill layer will fill your layer with your active color. Clear erases all of the content on the layer. Alpha lock will lock up the layer's transparency. Let's make an example. I'm going to draw a simple shape here. Then I'll toggle on the alpha lock. After doing so, I'll choose a new active color, lower my brush size, and then draw. Notice how my new lines are all confined to that shape I drew before I turned the alpha lock on. Now let's take a look at masks. Selecting mask will attach a layer mask to your active layer. So for example, let's start with a fill color. Then let's make a mask. Looking at the mask preview, the black space is hidden and the white space is visible. So for sake of example, Let's make our mask a collection of circles. Now we can return to the original layer and paint here, but it'll all be confined to this masked area. We also have clipping masks, which are similar but work a little differently. In this scenario, I'm going to draw a cloud-like shape. Then I'll create a new layer on top of it and make it a clipping mask. If I draw in this clipping mask, my work will stay confined to this masked area. Next, we have Invert, which inverts your layer. So for example, if I have a layer filled with black, and then I choose Invert, it would make my contents white. Now, let's look at reference layers. I'm going to start off with some simple line art. Then, I'll create a new layer on top of it. I'll go back to the original layer where I created the simple line art. I'm going to tap on the layer's preview and then select Reference. For organization's sake, I'm going to name the first layer here my reference layer, Line Layer. And I'm going to name the upper layer here, Color Layer. Now it'll be super easy to add fills to my line art. Check it out. With my color layer selected, I'll just drag my active color here to the space I'd like filled. It's that simple. Not only that, it keeps my colors separate on its own layer. Finally, we have Merge Down and Combine Down. 
Merge Down will merge your layer down with the layer beneath it, combining the two into one layer. Combine Down instead will merge the active layer and the one beneath it into a group. Now let's take a look at some other things that Procreate layers can do. Click on the N here in your selected layer to check out the opacity and blending modes. The opacity is simple. Drag on the slider here to change the opacity of the content on this layer. Blending modes change the way our layers interact, or blend, with each other, and there's plenty to choose from here in Procreate. One of the best ways to understand them is to try them and see them in action. So let's check them out one by one in this example. I've got some simple line art with a solid color on top. Let's check out how the blending modes change how these two layers impact each other. First we have Multiply, Darken, Color Burn, Linear Burn, Darker Color, Normal, Lighten, Screen, Color Dodge, Add, Lighter Color, Overlay, Soft Light, Hard Light, Vivid Light, Linear Light, Pin Light, Hard Mix, Difference, Exclusion, Subtract, Divide, Hue, Saturation, color, and luminosity. Once you've chosen a different blending mode, the N will change to a different letter to represent the newly chosen blending mode, but you can go back to normal at any time. And there you have it. Procreate layers offer us a ton of versatility and options. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and happy drawing!